This is definitely my biggest single project. I think this is the biggest piece that I've done to date. I got this huge sheet of copper. I'm like, oh, it's way too much. And then once I measured it, I'm like, it's not even enough. So I was like, oh my god, this is this is big. This is definitely the biggest, the most amount that I've ever worked with. I've been working on it a couple hours a day, so for about six weeks, a couple hours a day. And what I've created here is a domino dog. Um, my hope is that in the light of day, when the sun is shining on it, that it will really sparkle and glisten because the metal behind it gets really shiny in the light. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to try to do every color I can think of. I should try to do something that I hadn't really seen before. So I'm hoping people kind of put their head in it, maybe use it, you know, in a picture, or photo, or something like that, kind of keeping it fun. I feel like Salt Lake City, um, we have this kind of underground art scene and I really think it's important for artists to show their work and be part of, you know, the community. I think that Salt Lake has a lot of talent and I really want it to be viewed. It's bringing a lot more art into the street, so it brings art to people who normally wouldn't have the ability or time to go to a gallery, so it brings art to people who wouldn't normally see it. And I think it um, is really important to do that because it may um, affect people that you wouldn't expect to affect. Instead of being in a gallery or being in a museum, because there you, you gotta go there. Here you, people just walk by every day and they get the chance to see something that is probably they're not expecting to see. I like to see people's reactions and hopefully what I'm expressing in there I can, people, I can make people think about my piece. Uh, make it, maybe send them home and keep thinking about it like, oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> it's pretty exciting having this be on the street for anybody to see at any time. And it, it also feels a little vulnerable where anybody can get to it any, any time. But, it's, but I think that's part of what makes it exciting. What I have considered is a piece that's covered in hands, leaves itself open to people drawing whatever they want into those hands, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, I guess my hope is that if people decide to draw on it, they add to it instead of just writing their name across it or something. What's in our mind's eye and how the work of our hands really comes from that place. Um, and it kind of reflects how we see the world as artists. Yeah, the first thing that came to my mind, I just thought about using my hands to create something and say, that's it. Celebration of the hands, pretty much what we do every day. With, you know, basic stuff that we do every day with our hands. And uh, I just love the idea. And I'm just um, expressing how much there, there is to express with my hands about hands. The creators of our city are now wanting to move out of the gallery and onto the street. And in a city that needs as much animation as it can have, uh, this is a great way to welcome all creators to the sidewalks of Salt Lake City. The Temporary Museum of Permanent Change is a way to engage citizens in appreciating the past, the present, and the future of the city. Because they're always changing. They change through the seasons. They change through the times of the day. Uh, they change by who's on the street. The businessman and woman, they walk uh, down the street at uh, 9 in the morning, and they leave at 5. But then who occupies the street? So the idea of the Museum of Change is to celebrate all of the change and to celebrate the temporary uh, that is a part of city life. Not everyone goes inside galleries and not everyone knows exactly what the art scene is like in Salt Lake. So it's kind of a little advertisement in a way to let people know there is an art scene. There is stuff happening and it's right in front of you.